Hape New Jersey Weddings is here at the beautiful Addison Park to get a behind the scenes look at Jersey Boy star Renee Marino's wedding. I am here with Jersey Boy star Renee Marino. Well, formerly Marino, is that yeah. correct? What's yeah. the new last name? Lopez Calleja. Ooh, love it. Who made this beautiful dress? The maker of my dress is Dimitrios. And it was the first gown I tried on. It was such a miracle because I usually cannot make decisions. And I was like, this is it. I'm done. I love it. So thank you, Dimitrios. So tell us about the planning process. How was that? Yeah. She did it all herself, too, so I'm so proud of her. No. So no planner? No. Um, I just have a maid of honor, and he is his best man, his brother. I have my best friend, who's like my sister, Melissa, who I grew up with my whole life. You know, we were really calm about it. We were like, listen, all we care about is having a great DJ like Mr. Paul Anthony, one of the sharpest men that I know. And I actually know him very well through my brother, who um, is also his friend, and he was the DJ at my brother's wedding, and we were like, oh my god, this guy is just incredible. I am here with Paul Anthony, the owner of Paul Anthony Entertainment and the DJ for Renee Marino's wedding and good friend as well. Welcome. So tell us, what exactly is Paul Anthony Entertainment? What do you do? We are a full service of, uh, event services company. We provide DJs, music, lighting, live music, basically anything for events. So where are you located? Where are you based out of? Well, we have lo uh, locations all over. We have a location in Short Hills, Bernardsville, and New York City. So you must do, obviously, a lot of New Jersey weddings. Any themes that you see with, with Jersey weddings lately? People just want to have a good time. They want to party. They want the event to be formal, but still fun at the same time. And we leave it more to just have a good time at the event. Let the guests enjoy themselves. How does it feel to represent Jersey in Jersey Boys? Honestly, it's the best part of this whole experience for me. Like, you know, my, my I've been a performer my whole life, and obviously this is more than I could have dreamt of, you know, having my first film be a Clint Eastwood-directed film, you know, where I get to play such an amazing role of a true Jersey girl. So that's just incredible in itself. But the fact that I just get to represent, like, all of my family and my friends and, you know, New Jersey, where I grew up and was born and raised, it just makes me so, so proud. So you own a vodka company, is that correct? My partner and I, Devotion Vodka. We started, we're also Jersey boys. Nice. And uh, we just got named number one growing vodka in the country by WSWA, which is the governing unit of the whole alcohol industry. And But yeah, a couple of Jersey guys, first ever sugar-free, gluten-free vodka in the world. First ones ever to have those labels put on it. So yeah, it's been amazing. So that being innovative, uh, you know, our, our, our whole philosophy behind our company is being innovative, and that took us to the Next level. For more on this segment, log on to hipnewjersey.com.